In this video, I want to discuss how we as a CNC programmer decide where our part zero is. Sometimes, as shown in this print, the part zero is already determined for us by the part print. In this case, we can see the upper left hand corner of the part is both our X and Y zero. And typically the top of the part, this face when we're machining this underneath part, would be the Z zero. For a part such as this, the entire part is in quadrant four, which means all our X values when we machine this pocket will be X plus, and all our Y values are in the Y negative, so they'll be Y negative. Sometimes it's not obvious from the part print where the zero should be, and we have to determine that. In this case, for this part, I would make the center of this C shape, which is not the center of the part on our X axis, but is on our Y. If this becomes my part zero, then this portion of the part is in quadrant one, and all X and Y values will be positive. This portion of the part is in quadrant two, and all X's will be negative and Y is positive. This portion of the part is in quadrant three, and both X and Y coordinates will be negative, and this portion of the part is in quadrant four, which will have X positive and Y negative coordinates. As the programmer, it's also not uncommon to receive a very poorly dimensioned drawing such as this one. In a case such as this, it's often best to talk to the designer and ask what their design intent was, because this part may very well need more than one program zero. It may require a program zero at this end and at this end based on its function. In the end, as the CNC programmer, the decision is yours to program from one or more program zero locations and create a good quality part.